What's up everyone for the win attached to you, you know what it is. I've been waiting for this for a while now and we've already released videos on the other counterpart but we're here again with another Warfront video. We've released videos so far on um, how to unlock Stormguard, how to, um, how to do Stormguard, and also the patrol phase or the questing phase for Stormguard. We've also released how to unlock Darkshore. We've also released the patrol phase for Darkshore, and we're now going to be releasing the Darkshore version of the Warfront. So we're here today to adventure on into the Darkshore Warfront, which you can see Horde side um, basically is on siege mode, so that means we can take care of the battle for Darkshore. And uh, let's go ahead and adventure on over to our war table. And uh, at the war table, again, you'll be able to see uh, the two battles, uh, the two warfronts, Stormguard and Darkshore. We currently have an hour and 21 minutes left. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pick up our weekly quest for this event. It is to defeat the Alliance at the Battle for Darkshore, given 385 item level loot, a nice whopping sum of 3750 artifact power, and a decent amount of honorbound service medals being 15 total. Plus 50 gold, so that is a quest that you really, really want to do every time this is up. Let's go ahead and join battle, but just like it is for um, Battle for Stormguard, you do get 340 item level-ish loot and equipment for actually winning the Battle for Darkshore. Uh, again, same thing, very, very similar to Battle for Stormguard. So, go ahead and join battle, and I will catch you guys inside. Oh, damn straight. Your boy getting epic intro into the battle. Alright, so I got straight into this without being able to buff myself up and get myself situated. Um, so bear with me here. I gotta make sure I am ready to go. I think I am ready to go. So without further ado, just like we did for Stormguard, we're gonna go ahead and do everything possible in the battle for Darkshore. So we're here to go ahead and explore, not really too keen on focusing when it comes to the actual fight and stuff like that. So we basically are just gonna start taking care of these glaives, the glaive throwers, as quickly as possible here. For some reason I thought I was gonna have an auto cast dread stalkers because I thought I was in a PvP situation and environment. Sadly not the case when it comes to Warfronts. Uh, we are collecting wood and resources just like it was for in the Battle for Stormguard. So again, we're collecting uh, steel and wood still. Let's go ahead and keep that going. I believe we're going to be facing off against an Alliance NPC pretty soon here. I'm just going to keep collecting while I am here. Uh, oh, Aberdyne has to be purged. Okay, so it's not really focused on an actual NPC. We're here to just clear out Aberdyne and take it over. So, so far, so good. Kill the rare after the first boss with some iron and lumber a little north of the boss. Thank you very much, Diathel, for that. My first time here, so this is the boss. All right, so we are going to be taking care of the boss. Boss is taken care of. This whole place is now ours. Um, oh, no. Now we're going to be taking care of the boss. Got it. Alright, so with that being said, not too much going on here so far except just pushing back the Alliance forces. It really does piss me off that we can't use any of our PvP abilities here, but you gotta do what you gotta do. This is technically still a PvE situation, but this is the boss, uh, Navarra Nightshade, which is the first NPC boss that we're gonna be taking care of right now. Again, uh, you're still... Uh, key goal is to uh, collect wood and iron to most likely buff up some sort of area uh, for your advancement and your push in this uh, warfront. So with Navarro down, uh, let's see what happens now. Free the Ensnared. Alright. So Deathstalker Commander Belmont freed as well as Master Apothecary Farinell freed which are... Okay, so there's piles of wood. Okay, so perfect. Got it. So the ruins of Aberdeen. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, clear this place up quickly. A lot of a lot of trees, a lot of uh, druid forms here. So this is going to be a lot of uh, wood in this little section. Let's go ahead and uh, free these people here. All right, so they're all now freed. We're good to go here. 
uh, clear a path to Bashal Aran. Bashal Aran's over here, so we're basically gonna go ahead and continue advancing on forward. There is a lot of wood in the woods, which makes absolute sense, doesn't it? <laughs> there is a, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and head on over here. A rare spawn. A nice amount of, I'm assuming this is the rare spawn you were talking about to go ahead and defeat. A nice amount of wood should come from this. All right, now it's that cleared. Go ahead and loot. All right, so we get some wood and iron from that. That is a definite plus. All right, so let's continue making our way over to the actual core fight. Not too much going on here. This is a little bit different than uh, Battle for Stormguard so far. We don't really have uh, a base to call home that I've seen yet. We're creating outposts and basically pushing them back. Uh, what does this do exactly? I'd like to see. Okay. So we just got some wood from it. Not that, but um, something that was killed there. So basically pushing back uh, Alliance forces so far. Not too much is happening. I mean, well, there's a lot happening, but still. So nothing going on down south, I don't believe. Uh, we're going to go ahead and help this guy out. Again, uh, this is my first time here. It is uh, basically to check out everything. If not really to mainly focus on the main portion of the fight. So, so far, it's just Horde forces moving on forward. Pushing our way all the way to Belshal Aran. So we're not really missing out on anything. I do want to check something out real quick though. Uh, there is this here, this bridge. Not much was happening down here. So I'm assuming... Okay, so you don't want to go that way. It does have a uh, suffering nature damage. So if you go anywhere down south, you're just going to start taking some huge owls. So this whole southern island is an absolute wasteland. It's an absolute toxic area that you will eventually die from just adventuring to. They don't have it blocked, but there is eventually a, an invisible wall. So, I mean, it's just kind of pointless to go over there. So we've now caught up back to the Horde forces. We're heading into Bashal Aran. Again, I'm just gonna collect some wood while I am here. I will adventure on over up here as well. We're pushing up north, I'm assuming, to Lord Denal. Not 100% sure, but it would make sense if that was the case. And now we're at Bashal Aran. So we push our way here, Archdruid, uh, okay, so we gotta kill Archdruid, got it. Um, where is he going to spawn? Uh, I'm assuming in the middle, there he is. Alright, so let's go ahead and take care of this NPC now, who has this area under control. Let's go ahead and pop a lot of cooldowns here. So far, I'm actually liking this a lot better than Stormguard. It's a lot more straightforward. It isn't so versatile, like where you get to choose and select where you want to go. It's a straightforward PvP dungeon, pretty much, um, with a lot of PvP lore behind it. So that is so far so good. I'm enjoying this one. I'm maxed out on wood, so I don't have to worry about that anymore. And for iron, I'm about halfway through. Uh, we have now reclaimed Bashal Aran. So this is where we do our home base. So I've loved the intro to this place compared to the other. We got a quest here, collect resources from the war chest in Bashal Aran. Uh, I will receive some iron, so let's go ahead and collect that. This is going to teach us about the war chest, and the war chest is where do we find that? Right here. So just like it is in... Um, Stormguard, there's a war chest which you get iron from and resources, so that's where that's going to collect. And that goes ahead in the parentheses, as you can see, I can now collect one iron. So that's very, very similar to that. What else do we got going on here? We've got an NPC that is a vendor. Um, it's kind of like um, this guy, but it sells an extra. I was going to say a repair vendor. Let's go ahead and collect some more. I don't think I get the wood. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Alright, so the barracks are actually fully constructed, which I'll show you in just a bit. We can start putting our resources to use here, so bear with me. I'm just making, making sure I see everything here and everything's good to go. Um, anything down there? Yes, there is. Okay, so that's where the mines are located. That's where we're going to be able to get our... Okay, so that's good. Let's go ahead and turn in this quest. So this is actually easy. It's very, very similar to how Stormguard has been uh, ran. 
So let's go ahead and lumbering along, uh, pick up sturdy axe and gather freshly chopped wood, and we got an explosive. Okay, so these are the quests, very, very similar to how you do Storm Guard for your first time, to basically teach you where to go and what to do here. We've got uh, two quests to do. Explosives picked up, which we can pick up over here, I believe. And also an axe needs to be picked up. So we've got the axe and we've got explosives. So with that being said, we can now go ahead and do some stuff. Uh, the mine needs to be captured, which we got to go ahead and head on over there to do that. We've already got a group of people doing that. So we're going to the mine. Might as well just go ahead and show you guys that really quick. Interesting way to go down to the mines. So the mines has been captured, they have taken over the mines, we can actually talk to these guys, uh, supply some explosives to these guys, so we're good to go. Um, they're basically going to use these explosives to push farther deep into the mines and mine up iron for us to go ahead and use as resources pretty much. So with the mines being taken over, there was an NPC kill just like it is in Stormguard, so not too much to worry about there, but I'm going to go ahead and head on into the mines really quickly. Just to see what type of NPCs we got here. We got some dark scale NPCs. So I'm assuming once you kill dark scale NPCs you get the iron from them. Because they're the ones that are currently uh, pushing through. But there's not too much to going on in there. It's not as deep as the mines that are in um, Stormguard. So I'm going to quickly push through here. Uh, there should be a quest for me to turn in. Continue. We get iron and that is complete. Awesome. Um, anything going that way? A lot of people are over here. What was cooking? I'm assuming there was a rare spawn that I did not notice. It was a Naga rare spawn. Alright. Not a Naga, but it was... Okay, so there was a rare spawn that appeared. Just like it is in... Okay, so you get a lot of uh, resources from that. So just like it is in the Stormguard 1, there are rare spawns that rather frequently get called out. And uh, what I mean by called out, there's an NPC that appears on your screen and calls out and pinpoints on the map through a star that there is a rare spawn uh, nearby. Now we gotta do the lumbering along quest. I'm assuming that's on the outskirts of this area. We're still in the middle of constructing um, three little things, the barracks, the altar, and the armory. So here's a tree that we can go ahead and chop down, which should give us some wood. We've gotten our five wood, so we're good to go. Let's go ahead and now turn in this quest. That quest completed. We're now going to be given uh, the lumbering lumberjack's axe, which allows us for harvesting of timber. We've got the battlefield and, of course, some more wood, which sadly I don't need. And then we gotta go ahead and restore the barracks, then speak with... Okay, so, restore the barracks to full. Um, basically, that is over here. Alright, sweet. So, just to give you guys a little bit of an example here. We've got Signia, which is recruitments for troops. Uh, you get the Death Guard, the Deadshot, the Alchemist, and the Lancer. The Lancer is a tank, the Alchemist is a healer, the Deadshot, and the Death Guard are DPS, which have their abilities here. And you can go ahead and spend your resources onto recruiting troops, just like it is uh, on the barracks of um, Stormguard. Let's go ahead and make our way over here to go ahead and gather some more iron. So, what else can we do here? That was the barracks. And then we've got the Great Hall, which is going to be over here, which we are not appointed to just yet. We are currently working on the construction table of the armory. We've got this one already constructed. This is probably the Altar of Storms, which has Bristling Power, Abomination, Banshee, and Azmec Prototype. Um, this is actually, yeah, this is the Altar of Storm. Very, very cool. So we get um, Bristling Power, which increases damage by 10%, healing by 10%, health by 10%. This effect can be stacked up four times. Use your resources to go ahead and do that. Abomination, Banshee, and a prototype mechanism are a tank, healer, and DPS that you can go ahead and bring in, um, which increases your um, buff uh, moving on forward. We've also unlocked the, um, what is this here, the armory. 
So as you can see, the armory has uh, monolite weapons and monolite armor, which is monolite weapons and monolite armor that increases health and increases damage um, from your troops, and pretty much that's for all your troops, for your allied troops, and you can go ahead and contribute with your resources there as well. Um, next up, we're trying to uh, construct a stronghold, we're trying to construct the plug works and build a forsaken flight thrower. Um, Gloom Tide Strand we've taken care of, uh, Forlorn Crossing we've taken care of, and Cinderfall Grove we've taken care of. I'll go ahead and show you guys that in just a second. Uh, what do we got going on here? So, this is the construction table. Um, this is the stronghold that we're going to be constructing here. Um, anything else that I need to know about? So that is the stronghold. Let's just go ahead and uh, get this one cooking with all of our resources. Spend all of our resources on this. Gonna get this stronghold up and running as quickly as possible, and I will be back to show you guys what that does. I would like to—I'd be interested in seeing what that does. So troops recruited. I'm gonna go ahead and recruit a troop to get this. complete. Uh, quest completed real quick gotta go over here I'm gonna go ahead and just recruit uh, a death guard for now very very similar to storm guard but I've liked the intro to this one a lot better it's a lot smoother so I'm happy about that so that teaches us pretty much everything on that point let's go ahead and head up with this quest uh, need speak with Archibald to learn what the armory has to offer all right Armory on my way. Again, I've already showed you guys all of this. I kind of forget that quests do this type of stuff. So that's the armory has to offer, which I've already showed you. Let's go ahead and turn in that quest. Uh, Altar of Storms, same thing. I've already uh, showed you guys what this place does. Let's go ahead and uh, get out of there real quick. Turn in this quest. And that is it's for uh, questing, I believe. I don't really see any more quests. Uh, any NPCs with quests? I don't think so. Because pretty much everything has been taught to us except the stronghold. So let's go ahead and get onto the battlefield and show you guys what we've just taken over. These are locations and pinpoints on the map that are pretty, pretty simple. As you can see, this whole battlefield is a forest. So this is kind of where the lumbering yard uh, occurs uh, pretty much everywhere else. Um, so we have taken over Forlorn Crossing, which is the middle section right here. There was a little alliance horde type of battle that was going on there. Um, over here to the left, we've got Gloomtide Strand. Uh, we can go ahead. Okay, so here we go. We can get something useful out of this. Go ahead and speak to Putrid. We can release Abominations for 100 iron. So that is definitely a positive here. I'm assuming it's those type of Abominations. Uh, kind of like the... Um, uh, the patchwork bosses and then basically forlorn crossing is a simple place and cinderfall grove is probably a simple place as well that just had a battle occurring here so yeah not much has happened here for us to go ahead and uh do so we're gonna go ahead and meet up with everybody at the ashwood which is the next place that we just uh, have taken over. Again, all these little circles on my mini map are where there's locations of wood. I keep opening up my map, by the way, to see if there's any. Uh... All right, so this is where, so we're now where everybody's currently at. This is where it's going down. This is like the middle. This is the, the next main stronghold that you can get, and you can go ahead and take this flight path to any of the other locations that you have. You can also use this NPC here to get requisition bats, which cost 100 iron as well. Requisition a vile screecher to ride into the battlefield. There is a quest over here, which is interesting. Deliver crankshot's notes to your commander. That pretty much um, wants you to go ahead and take a little flight path from here. And we got to go to the commander, which I believe is back at uh, Bashala Ron. So we want to take this to Bashala Ron. And it's basically showing you that there is a flight path for you to take here. So we now have access to Ashwood Depot, which gives us access to the Vile Screechers. We have access to Gloom Tide Strand, which gives us access to the Putrid Abominations. Forlorn Crossing and Cinderella have also been taken over. Um, our Tower of Storms, Armory, uh, Barracks, I've already, shown, I've already shown you. Stronghold, we have now reached level 2, which I'll be able to show you about that now. And we're also uh, currently 
uh, working on uh, getting the plague works. So, let's go ahead and do that. So we've constructed a stronghold. We're here with the commander to turn in this quest. Flightmaster's whistle now works here, which is an absolute positive. Let's go ahead and access the war chest real quick. Got another quest here. Which is going to capture Gloomfad Strand, then speak to Professor Blightwell to learn what he has to offer. It's going to do the exact same thing we've already done. However, I believe we've lost it. So that kind of sucks. It is now under Alliance control. Um, but again, we have already uh, fully taken over a stronghold, which was right here. Uh, we're pretty much good to go with the stronghold. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, help with the, uh, the plague works. Plaguework Workshop is already good to go. So now we have access to our sieges, um, which we'll be able to get the Blight Throwers. Uh, blight Throwers cost 80, and these are basically the sieges, similar to the ones that are in Stormguard, but we get Undead Forsaken styled Blight Throwers. Now we get to go back to the construction table of our fortress, get to help work on this. So let's just go ahead and spend all of our currency onto this. Again, the fortress is uh, our stronghold, which we're trying to get to level three and I'll be back to show you guys what that's all about we're now gonna head on back out to help take over uh, Gloomtide Strand so I can go ahead and get that quest completed some of these quests are a little bit behind because I mean I'm not really focusing on the battle I'm focusing on learning what this whole place is about where everything is and showing you guys um, how this basically goes forward um, so there is, okay, so it's very, very similar. There's basically bosses at every single location and Horde have to defeat them in order to take it over. Exact same thing as it is in Stormguard. So now we gotta go ahead and take on over the flag. The boss has been destroyed. It's our goal to turn this over into Horde's flag. No one's attacking that guy, so we're good to go. We now get to speak to this dude once everything's cleared out. Alright. My putrid buddy, go ahead and uh, talk to you. I've already spoken to my my peeps about that. Let's go ahead and turn in this quest what is and head back on over to Bash Bashalaran. Pretty good. So everything so far so good. Uh, the fortress is at about 26%. Uh, we got two ancient protectors that we got to defeat. We got Myara Night Song that's got to be defeated, and four warship relief that was destroyed. I'm not too sure where they're currently at, but I believe they're closer to the top. A lot of Forsaken Blight Throwers are currently in the works. Another quest that we've got here, let's try to pick up this one. I'm assuming it's basically going to show us something else that we have already done. Uh, see what the workshop has to offer. Again, something we've already done. The Blight Throwers. We're going to speak to him. Probably go turn in a quest back at that NPC and Alliance Assault at the Central Road. All right. Complete the quest. And is there any more quests for me to do at this moment in time? There is not. Everything has been completed. Everything has been overlooked. And we're good to go. So let's go ahead and uh, dump our resources into the... Um, the what's it called? I keep forgetting it. The Fortress of the Stronghold. They have two names for it. All right. And I uh, have no, I have, I can't contribute. Uh, it's almost done. It's at 92%. So I'm kind of gonna sit here. Everything's under horde control. Um, our blight throwers are currently getting into the glaive throwers, which are currently up front, which is what the two ancient protectors, Myara, and the warships. I'm assuming are up here towards Lord and now landing, which everybody's currently starting to go towards. But the fortress is at 92%. I'm hoping to be able to contribute more to it. And I believe we can only contribute wood at this moment in time. But so far, I'm absolutely enjoying this compared to Stormguard. It's something new, it's something different. Even though it's the same thing, I'm absolutely loving this compared to Stormguard. I don't know if it's because of the Horde theme or what. But, uh, come on guys, let's get this over with. Uh, we're at 95%. I really can't contribute anything because I'm kind of lazy. Everybody else is doing the fight up top. An alliance assault force deployed to Central Road, which is somewhere down here. <clears throat> this is now at 97%. Not that many people here. I'm um, assuming that Druid is trying to farm wood right now as well. 
I want to get this completed. Alright, uh, let's get some wood then. Do this myself. I'm a big boy. I do big boy things. I'm assuming we don't even have to get the, the fortress completed, but I'm gonna go ahead and try. Try to do what we can do. It is now at 98%, 99%. If I push this forward, it could be full. I got a hundred of that. There we go. So stronghold is officially completed. With that, we've now got further increase the resource gathering rate and further increase the barrack troop production rate. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Nope. Pretty much good to go, actually. Let's go ahead and uh, catch back up to the team, catch back up to the squad. They're still working up there as well right now. Um, so let's just go ahead and get up there as quickly as possible. I'm gonna go ahead and take the the main route after we get through this. But so far, again, let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section about Darkshore, about Stormguard. Which one's your favorite of the two? Um, again, so far we've completed everything, we've seen everything, we just gotta get to the top as quickly as possible and try not to miss out on anything. I'm taking the side route so I don't, like, run into something that I can't deal with. Those are the ancient protectors that are currently getting destroyed, so yeah, they're pretty much working on this up here, so let's go ahead and help out the, the horde forces. Gonna destroy these two ancient protectors. One's gonna about to die right now. We're gonna go ahead and help work on this one. So that's one down, one to go. So yeah, I mean, for me not being a part of the main fight, we haven't missed out on anything yet. So this whole video has been a success so far. I can probably one shot this video. I thought I was gonna have to do this in multiple goes, but absolutely loving it. Ancient protector number two completed. Uh, we're gonna defeat the warglaive destroyers. Uh, we're now at Lord and Now Landing. And then we also get to defeat Mayara as well, who's in the background. The Warglaive destroy- oh, let's go ahead and- let's see how much wood this guy drops. Team! Let's see the- 28, that's what I thought, that's what I thought. What else do we got here? Wow. Mayara is already dead, team. She took a quick L. Alright, so now we're taking over this. And then we basically, there's a Dread Ballista, a bunch of them actually, and pretty much got to destroy these things, the Grave Throwers. Is there any other way across? I'm assuming there is, but I want to see this. Okay, so that's gonna help. <clears throat> Alright, so we got the seed bag as well. Alright, sweet. No! Alright, the seed bag throws enchanted seed. Enemy immobilizing them and inflicting some damage. Alright, got it. Alright, so this is going to take quite some time. Is there really nothing to do at the moment? I'm going to go ahead and use a volatile bulb then. Whee! Got to mount up. See if we can pursue. See if we can do. Pretty, we're pretty much waiting. Okay, so we just basically gotta protect the people on those that are destroying the glaive throwers from the uh, the alliance forces that are currently coming in. And we've also got our blight throwers helping out as well. There's really no one else anywhere on this map. Wow. Alright, so what are they at? Almost dead, actually. Yep, they're almost dead. Good to see. And then, is there really... There's gotta be a, an end game boss for us to defeat, I'm assuming. Can't just be... Just kill the glaives and everything's good to go. Someone has to be launching the glaives at us. All 
Alright, two glaives down. Got two more to go. I'm just here working on uh, killing these guys. Three glaives down, one to go. Malkazar coming in. End of the road. Here we go. So now we've got the Forsaken Bats, and we're just going to go ahead and pursue our way over. Uh, Alliance Commander defeated. Alright, so yeah, that's exactly what I thought. Mount up, get straight in, and there is my Ev. Oh, this is so much better than the Stormguard one. It's so much set up. Keep a lookout for flyers. Attack catapults uh, when killed. You can mount to help damage the glaive throw. Ah, so you can mount up across and start doing some damage, especially as a ranged DPS. I'm assuming. I failed you, Sira, and I will atone for it. All right. Just in case people want this. But this is kind of like a raid boss in a Warfront. Just in case people want it. I mean, they might not. They might not need it. Well, people, yeah. There's a couple clicks on that. That's worth it. Go ahead and uh, bring out that. This is an in I love this compared to, um, compared to Stormguard. Stormguard was cool. Stormguard was a great introductory Warfront. But this is... A lot better, a lot smoother, and a lot cleaner. Congratulations to Blizzard Entertainment for actually doing something in a better manner. Usually they try to do something new, and the second version of it is usually the same thing, and it's not really great. This is technically the exact same thing, but the way they did it is just it's so much easier for someone. I mean, look how easy I got through everything. I didn't miss a thing. I learned everything about it in one go. That's exactly what I want to see. And they did a good job on this. And then I absolutely also love the um, the fact that this uh, Warfront had the quests that were. I mean, the other one, the Stormguard, had the quests as well, but it just wasn't didn't feel as smooth as the questing for this one. And the amount of time that you spend here, not bad at all. Let's just hope I get some decent amount of loot. My Ev was pretty easy to defeat though, I'm not going to lie. I kind of sat in a lot of stuff here. What do you mean? You get one health. Yeet! Completed. With 340 wrists that I don't need. But look at your boy. Completing things. Right, so we've made it out. I'm gonna go ahead and turn in our weekly quest. I'm so glad I was able to get this completed before it, uh, it expired. But again, 750 AP, um, 15 honor bound, 50 gold, and 385 loot. Let's see what we get. Holy shit, we got the staff. 